Stop focusing on trying to execute all of the different mechanics in half a second. Instead, focus on your timing. Here's what I mean. It's helpful to work on individual elements in your backhand, but it's worthless if you don't properly time everything. Hey everybody, what is up? It's Antonio. Welcome to another episode here on Gladiator Disc Golf. I'm so excited. Today is day two of the 30 day challenge. And today we're talking about backhand timing. So let's go ahead and let's get right into it. The first tip is talking about eyes. When talking about eyes, it's important to understand that we throw where we see and our natural inclination is to watch the disc leave our hand. We have to break that natural inclination and instead let the disc come across our body, watch the disc come across our body and trust that we've done everything preceding this, that the disc is going to go in the right direction at the right spot. If you watch the disc come out of your hand, look at what my body just did. If I'm watching the disc come across and then leave my hand, I have completely turned my shoulders to be open. I'm even leaning back a little bit. And the disc is in front of my chest, not out in front of me. And so what has happened here is as I've watched the disc come across, I've done what's called rounding. I've gotten my shoulders engaged way too early and the disc is completely rounding and I'm now throwing with my upper body, specifically my throwing shoulder. When the disc comes across and we watch it and then we throw, it's not ever coming further around, it's coming through like that. And that is how you're going to be more accurate because you've lined up the shot up to this point and now you're just letting the disc follow that line that you've put it on. The next thing that we wanna do is create lower body rotation or really what we're doing is creating lag and it's all in how we set ourselves up so if i'm throwing at my target i'm coming through and i get into my plant step essentially okay i don't want to go like this and lead with the arm the disc shouldn't be leading the throw what we want is to create lag and we create lag from the ground up once we have our extension here like i talk about in episode one of the 30-day challenge we then want to start with our back leg as Tai Relatus talks about and as Tristan Tanner just talked about. Think about having your knees meet, okay? And as you're having those knees meet in this timing, you're gonna get those hips and that core engaged. And look at what's happening to the disc. I'm not pulling this disc with my arm. What's happening is that I'm creating lag. And so now you see that the disc is behind my shoulder or in line with my shoulder, but everything else is coming forward. And that's going to create lag for the throw. Okay, the third tip in today's video is keeping a neutral back and neutral shoulders. I mentioned earlier about how the eyes, we want, the disc, we want to watch the disc come across. Well, if we're watching the disc come across this way, that means our back and our shoulders have to remain neutral, okay? The moment we start dipping, the moment we start early rotating, they're no longer neutral because they're now being used to help throw the disc. Like I talked about in episode one of this 30 day challenge, we want to use our core and starting with the footwork, starting with our knees coming together, our hips and our core, everything else will follow. Now this happens all very quickly in our throw. And so that's why sometimes the challenge of slowing things down can kind of make it look a little broken. And what we want to do is understand that there are varying elements but it's all about timing and that's why this video is focusing so much on the backhand timing and not so much do this then this then that these are all elements that we want to look for in our timing hey everybody if you're liking this video go ahead to like and subscribe so that you can get more content in this 30-day challenge we're only on day two so make sure you subscribe so you get notified for day three the last tip in today's video is very simple. It's the follow through. Turning all the way around, coming all the way through on your follow through does not necessarily mean that it was a good or bad throw, but rather think about the timing, the technique, and how you feel in the follow through. Are you controlled? Are you on tempo? Do you feel like you've lost your balance? If you've remained balanced and everything felt smooth and you didn't even feel like the disc 
was thrown hard, that is all very good. So which tip helped you out the most? There's a lot that we could have talked about, but we just picked a couple things that I think are very important in focusing on the timing of the throw rather than certain things we need to do. We want to use each of these as indicators for how our form is looking and performing. So go ahead and comment down below which tip you liked the most. And I'll see you guys tomorrow where we're talking about putting consistently, how you can get there, how you can improve your putting to be 70, 80, 90% C1X.